So, Lebanon is now suffering from a war between Israel and Palestine, economically. They're not really suffering in terms of loss of life or destruction or anything like that. Quite contrary, but economically, their, or I should say, their economy has reacted to the events in Israel and Palestine. So I made a video weeks ago, maybe just a week before the Hamas operation, where I said that Malta, the private sector, not the government, they've got too many things in their hand, the private sector of Malta, which is probably richer than a lot of Western countries, and that's not a joke, the private sector in Malta should start to invest in Lebanon. Because if their economy is faltering, I'm sure, I'm very sure that the Lebanese government and even the Hezbollah components, I'm pretty sure they won't have a problem with foreign investors. And the Lebanese need a hand. The Lebanese absolutely need a hand from anybody. It's not a matter of being desperate, being two-faced or anything like that. Their people need a hand. And if the Lebanese government will permit I think building a private investment bridge, absolutely nothing to do with the EU, absolutely nothing to do with the even the government of Malta, just a private thing stamped by the government of Malta, stamped by the government of Lebanon, where it's a private enterprise sort of thing agreement, where private enterprises can enter into special agreements, or private enterprises in Malta can enter into any agreements with public or private enterprises in Lebanon, just the private sector of Malta. And you'll start to see a lot of productivity, okay? The private sector of Malta could probably fuel an entire Western nation over a decade. The private sector of Malta, we're talking about the time the Queen of England gave Malta four years of English revenue. Yeah, she paid the Knights that much as a way to say thank you but more so a way to say, please don't fucking attack us. Clearly, we know that if you can do that, you can absolutely demolish our armies. So that was Elizabeth I's way of saying, don't hurt us, please, don't fucking come and hurt us. Which she thought would buy them enough time to strengthen their armies and whatnot. Which was sort of true, but was sort of um, ludicrous. Fuck, as if she, how could she believe the knights didn't know what she was trying to do? Oh my god, fucking creep, the English creep, kingdom creatures. Um, <laughs> they think they're Romans. <laughs> anyway, um, fucking, oh my god. They, to, to try and out-politic the Romans. What are you, on fucking drugs? Um, or the Latins, at least. <laughs> so... I think, yeah, the, the, the private sector of Malta <laughs> goes back to that era, goes back to money being floated in from England, goes back to all the hordes of treasure ship, ships that the Knights raided, goes back to the battles they won and every, all the treasure and all the crap they took from those battles and everything they've done since, all their worldwide business affairs, everything. So that translates to Maltese people worldwide. And wherever the Knights went, that's a lot of money. So again, it's like 10 years revenue of an entire Western country they've got. So they can help Lebanon. And I think now there couldn't be a better time to forge a private agreement between... Uh, an agreement between the private sector of Malta, just the private sector, no public government initiative at all from Malta. They've got enough on their plate. But for the private sector to be... to afford attention to the Lebanese public and private sector, if their government will allow it. And I think it'll make a lot of sense even a Malta to do that. Uh, there's a lot of energy that can be channelled that way, and the Lebanese need it. I mean, the Maltese could help anyone in the world, but the Lebanese really need it.